before arriving at this tragic end. I'd like to thank every single one of you for being here today to celebrate the life of this amazing man, Dan Moran. This West Metro firefighter loved to share his spirit with friends like Red Rocks Church Pastor Sean Johnson. This is one of those things that we walk into and it's almost impossible not to be overwhelmed with sadness thinking about the loss of Dan. If you know Dan, you know this to be true. He would want this to be a celebration. He would want there to be more laughter than tears. Laughter, like when we first met Dan in 2016 outside of a hockey game at Coors Field. Cover up those ugly Red Wings jerseys with a nice t-shirt. He was selling rivalry. I've been selling it for 20 years, but rivalry's kind of gone away until today. His friend and colleague Jeff Delgado promised funny stories. Dan was loud. <laughs> he could be obnoxious. He didn't know what it means to whisper. His head was huge. <laughs> he was always hitting it on things. In 2018, we met Dan's family. His daughter Maddie wanted him to be a part of her senior prom. Uh, he has leukemia, so he's in the hospital waiting for a bone marrow transplant. But that didn't stop him. I'm just hoping she's in a good mood. No, don't put that in there. <laughs> it didn't stop him from being a dad. I'm Gina Boom's mom. I have the great privilege of being one of Danny's many cousins. Wow. Danny was so right. There are a lot of people here today. <laughs> Holy cow. Even when his cancer got really bad, even though he got it while working on the job, serving the public, they say Dan was rarely down and never talked about himself. A month ago, I was here with my girls saying goodbye. I remember telling Danny specifically how wonderful of a husband, father, son, brother, friend, believer in Christ, and everything else in between that he was. A tragic end to a man who is willing to share his spirit with all. Nelson Garcia, Nine News.